Shorter distance, one mile, the Pat Day mile. We get it up to Larry Colmes. Thanks, Ahmed. Jack Christopher has just moved into the starting gate, so old captain will be the last one to load here. Steps up and in, and they're all in line. They're off in the Pat Day mile. Mike Prankster on the outside, Papa Cap from the inside, out for the lead. Major General comes charging up the rail to be a part of the pace. And behind them is Kavad and Jack Christopher will be in the middle of the pack early as the field races out of the chute and onto the main track with Papa Cap showing the most early speed. Jack Christopher has moved up a couple of spots into second. Major General is third, then by Prankster. Kavad in between horses, trademarked down toward the inside. After that comes Trafalgar, who's right alongside of Doppelganger as they head up the back stretch. Ben Diesel is in behind them. Then comes Old Captain, and the trailer. Last of them all here is Tejano Twist. That first quarter was 22.7 seconds. They passed the half mile pole. Papa Cap, the leader, a half mile up at 45.61. And Jack Christopher is three quarters of the length off of Papa Cap as they run the far turn. Major General continues to run third, right alongside of Stable Day. Mike Prankster, who now takes third and is two lengths behind as Jack Christopher takes over from Papa Cap, coming to the top of the stretch. And he's still in hand as they turn for home here. Jack Christopher taking the lead from Papa Cap and now being set down for the stretch drive. Mike Prankster is next. Oh, Captain is moved up on the far outside into fourth. Doppelganger is fifth, but Jack Christopher is on top. And at the 16th pole, he's got a two and a half length lead. Mike Prankster and Papa Cap battling behind him. Jack Christopher comes back strong. In the Pat Day Mile, winning it by four in the end. It's a photo behind him between Papa Cap and Mike Prankster. And old captain was third. Jack Christopher does it at 134.81. A triumphant return for the five. And Jack Christopher now three for three in his career. Just kind of like a rerun of his first two races. He gets up close early. His jockey, Jose Ortiz, lets him settle, stalking the early pace, sits and waits patiently. Until they hit the top of the stretch, he creeps a little closer. And then he sets him down. And look for a minute, like a couple of horses, even Mike Prankster on the outside, was going to give him a serious challenge. But then he just shows his class and, and draws away late. To me, I, I don't know what the time is. 134.81. Yeah, it was pretty impressive to the eye. And Randy, I think the time will, will, will bear that out as well. Yeah, I mean, Chad Brown, it, it, another win for him today. Big day for Chad. But he's been pointing Jack Christopher to this race for a very long time and this is a nice comeback win for Jack Christopher now they have all kinds of options uh, they may even try a little bit later in the year to give him a chance around two turns in a race like the Haskell at Monmouth which is typically kind to speed kind of horses you know but look at a one turn mile it's not an easy distance at a one turn mile at all so coming off the bench to run like this and run fast good effort